Hey, what's happening, guys? Thanks for stopping by. Happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. And I'm still dealing with this terrible LED light, but it's uh, the best I got. Let's see what I can do with the cabin. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Um, had some things on my mind to talk about tonight that are that are kind of weighing on my mind. I'm starting to worry about what I'm going to do about having friends as I start to travel and become a nomad. Um, I try my best right now, even though I'm living in the van full time, to keep my social life pretty much unchanged. Um, you know, meet friends about three or four nights a week, hang out, have dinner, or just sit around, have a few drinks, watch television, chit chat, that kind of thing. And it's a, it's a handful of us that always show up to every little gathering. And every time, you know, I'm losing more and more. Turns out that I've only got like four out of what used to be over a dozen people who aren't just becoming irritating little assholes about <laughs> asking me about how's the van, how do you keep it clean, that kind of thing. And it's just just irritating little things that's really weighing on me so I'm kind of cutting those people off they just they're just acquaintances they're not true friends but I have my three or four yeah four that are true friends so I was thinking about it at work today when I start traveling and going uh, nomadic um, I'm not gonna have those uh, real-time tangible relationships anymore I'm only going to be able to keep in touch with them through like Facebook and videos and social media kind of stuff. But it's not going to be any face to face, sit down, social interaction. And that's kind of worrying me. I was wondering what you guys are doing. Where are you meeting new friends that, you know, as you're out in your travels, um, you know, I know you're not just dealing with uh, social media friends because that's that's no real interaction and I'm also thinking is every friend I make in the future going to be a van dweller is it gonna have to be limited to that lifestyle because I'm telling you people maybe I've just uh, maybe it's the culture in this area you know I'm a southern guy born and raised and I always lived in Florida or Georgia or Tennessee or Alabama or somewhere around the southeast and um, there's a lot of negativity when you try to do something out of the norm and maybe it's a regional thing maybe it's a cultural thing but you know every time we have a gathering it's it's one other guy or one other person says something um you know kind of irritating and kind of uh condescending to me it's it's every time for the last month you know i'm just culling these so-called friends out and i've still got my true four that i'm sticking with and that's really all you need you know you don't need a lot of uh acquaintances you need friends and you don't need a lot you need a handful and that's what I've got and I'm happy with that but once I start traveling and I'm not having that face-to-face -face, sit down interaction with them anymore um, where am I gonna meet this new handful of real friends at when you're out on the road and you're um, this uh, what's the word I'm looking for transitioning from city to city you're not gonna have that real um, interaction with people so are you guys just getting by with this um, abstract friendship through social media where you don't actually meet people and talk to them face to face um, that's a little concerning to me because the plan is you know in October when I meet my financial goal and I head out and become uh, free as the wind you know 
where am I going to meet these friends that are um, compatible with just not being set in their ways and are understanding that just because someone's living a different lifestyle doesn't mean you have to uh, turn your nose up at it. That's, that's what I'm dealing with. And I was not prepared for this. So I am concerned about how I'm going to maintain friendships as I start to travel. Because, um, you know, I love the YouTube things and I love the social media, you know, keeping in touch with people through Facebook. But you never see these people. You never meet them for dinner. You never run into them in a, a supermarket or something. They're just a, a people that you uh, send a, a one-sentence message to on social media. And uh, that's a little bit... Um, unnerving to think that that may be my future relationships I don't know how I could deal with that I've got to have that handful of people to meet you know at least once a week just to get some uh, some interaction with human beings you know so uh, I guess that's what's on my mind tonight um, how do you keep and maintain and create new real friendships other than just through a video screen? You know, that's, uh, maybe you'll tell me in the comments what you're doing or if you're just uh, relying on that abstract interaction that's not truly tangible and if that's, I don't know if that's going to be good enough for me. I guess we'll guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's what's on my mind tonight, and uh, hope I haven't been too Debbie Downer tonight. But you know, I want to be honest about what I'm thinking about, and I'd like to know what you guys are thinking about. And uh, I guess I'll sign off tonight. Um, everybody have a great evening, and uh, hit the alert bell. Be well, and we'll see you next time. Bye.